Hello and welcome to Spotlight. Uh, and today my guest is the co-founder and CEO of Be Free, Julian Flossback. Julian, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. Um, Julian, uh, Be Free's journey started in 2020. It's four years now. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about why Be Free and the journey of the last four years. Awesome. Yeah. Th thank you so much for having me. Um, as, as quick background about Be Free. Be Free is an ethical credit management platform. Uh, we mainly operate in, in, in Nigeria and in Kenya and Ghana, but we started originally in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And essentially, how, how did we start? We started off as a credit collection platform. Yeah. Why? When you look back really at our, our history of us founders, we all used to work in fintechs, uh, some of the largest lending fintechs here in Nigeria. Um, where we were essentially, or we essentially with some of the largest digital banks here in the, in the country, namely Fair Money and Opay. Um, and we were faced essentially with, you know, lending credit collection firsthand. Uh, so essentially, um, we at some point we figured out, hey, lending is quite easy. It's, it's very easy to give out the money, but it's very hard to get it back. Mm -hmm. Why do customers actually default? Yeah, and essentially what we figured out is that um, customer default is not a homogeneous problem. The customers default for very different reasons. And one, one way we found out how we can track this is use, to use the same methodology that you use in credit scoring. And credit scoring, you essentially look at two, 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 two dimensions. You look at the willingness to pay and the capability to pay. Yeah, so essentially, we figured out look, this, this one, one size fits all approach cannot, cannot work. And we need to be much more granular about our approach to, to getting customers to pay back. And when you give customers the right solution, 80% of customers that we see want to pay back. Yeah, so 80% of the customers that default want to pay back. They just don't pay back because they don't get the right solution. Um, so if you essentially you know, focus on, 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 on you know, getting customers the right solution, then they will also pay back. And that's, what, that's, that's kind of like the originating story, um, how, we, how we essentially solved the problem that we created ourselves um, at the end of the day. Thank you for sharing that story. What about the some of the milestones of the last year. We started with a product that we called Collections as a Service. Collections as a Service, essentially where we come in and we take full turnkey responsibility for all collections of, uh, of financial institutions. And whenever a customer pays back, we essentially receive a commission fee. But, you know, it's, it doesn't really solve, so, solve the core problem of of, of risk management for banks. So really over the last last uh, or one and a half years, we very much also worked on launching a new product, which we call DAP or Distressed Asset Purchases. That's essentially where we partner with hedge funds and, and, and third party investors to not only service the debt of the banks, but also you know, value the assets for the net present value and then essentially buy them off the balance sheet of banks and sell them off into the secondary market. And we, we have both now. Fabulous. Um, and talking about milestones, Julian, you recently closed a round of funding. Um, yeah. What is that capital infusion going to be used towards? Yeah. The, the, the main one is essentially to focus on two things. Number one, we want to continue to scale um, our, our what we call DAP solutions. So these essentially the origination of the assets. Yeah. And to sell them off into the secondary market here, we're looking at a geographical expansion. We're right now mainly offering that essentially in Nigeria and Ghana. We're going to move that more also into, into East Africa. Uh, that's one. And then secondly, we're also very strongly working on our product suite. Yeah. So at the moment, we are, we are still very much focused on non-performing loans. But in the future, we really also want to go into the credit risk management or the credit management of already performing loans. Yeah, for this, we're going to launch a new analytic solutions platform for, for banks this year. Uh, which actually leads me to my next question, which is broader, which is my last question. What you're doing is quite unique, ethical credit collection. What does that mean for financial inclusion in Africa? Yeah, so, so, I mean, so when, when you look at specifically the credit collection, I, I would always separate it into two parts. I would say, look, it has a meaning on the one hand 
For um, credit collection, on the other hand, for the macro and the risk, risk management and environment. When we look at credit collection, the big question is in collections, how do we then deal with people who default? Right? So it's, it's a necessity. And do you, you know, offer them right away the solutions or do you continue to build a credit environment on solutions that don't favor the customer? Yeah? And here for sure, our, our impact is you know, that we, we solve a problem that has to be solved which is not the nicest problem. You know, nobody is happy to, to default. Nobody is happy to speak to credit collection companies. But it, but, but it needs to be done. And the question is then, how do you do it? Right? And we, we, we do it in a nice way. 95% of our borrowers who we have cooperated with, 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 with our, our solution in the past rate the process as good or excellent. So we have empirical data that, that, that customers you know, prefer us. I'm not sure if that's because the others are so bad or because we are so good, but it's for sure somewhere in the middle. Um, then the second part is really the, the risk management approach, yeah, which allowing banks and lenders to offload the debt. That's for sure if, I mean, if, if we are, I mean, you know, we're early on, we are early, early in the journey, but if we're able to scale that, it's going to fundamentally change risk management and interest rates on the continent, fundamentally. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's transformative. Uh, I love what you're doing, Julian. Uh, more power to you. Thank you for joining me. And I hope to continue to stay in touch and watch as you grow from strength to strength. Thank you.